when you pray sometimes you are still then you will know the bible says, be still and know be still and know there are times will be noisy to speak with energy but there are times let me tell you this is the reason why you should not be religious when you are walking with god you can go to the place of prayer and shout for one hour and suddenly a grace comes upon you and you don't have the energy to shout again don't fight it sit quietly something is about to come but because we have not been trained, you just feel, ah, I'm, is it sleep? It's not necessarily sleep. In that stillness, His Majesty comes. A scripture comes. A word comes. An instruction comes. Check a YouTube video. An instruction comes. Check this scripture. An instruction comes. Read this book. Sometimes the instruction can just come as the name of someone the name of a sermon even if it's a sermon you've listened to before you finish praying for hours struggling your rent everything and whilst you are seated there a testimony you had one day in koinonia just comes to your spirit is how god speaks this grace called favor and it becomes strong upon your heart god is saying listen there my voice for you is in that sermon although you were there when it was preached you did not hear my voice there now you listen to it you will hear something i will tell you that you did not hear that day there are many ways god speaks to us hi my name is naomi welcome to the teacher's portal your unlimited access to supernatural and transformational content here we share messages of salvation solution redemption and deliverance by anointed ministers of the gospel don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe god bless of prayer that every believer can engage in the place of prayer is called the prayer of inquiry the prayer of inquiry first samuel chapter 30 and verse 8 the prayer of inquiry this is the kind of prayer you pray when you don't know what to do when you are in confusion when you are at a a, a central point in your destiny navigating seasons ending one season and beginning another and david inquired of the lord saying shall i pursue after this troop shall i overtake them i don't want to take a foolish decision in my destiny i am a warrior but i can't take life for granted and he answered him pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them and without fail recover there is such a thing as the prayer of inquiry hallelujah the secret to engaging this kind of prayer is patience. 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 God speaks, but he's not always speaking. Hear me, Koinonia. God speaks, but he's not always speaking. You were created in his image. You speak, but you are not always speaking. Most people think God is a talkative who is just talking and just tune your radio, you hear him. He's a lie. Human beings are not like that. God is not like that. You would hear the Bible say on the fifth day of the tenth month, the word of the Lord came. The word of the Lord came. He says until his word came, the word tried him. Yours is to be patient. Are we together? It is the absence of this prayer that has caused pain in the life of many people. I will tell you why. There is a way that cement right unto a man. There is a way, there is a job that cement right. Are we together? There is a country that cement right unto a man. There is a local government that cement right. There is a state that cement right. There is a business that cement right. The Bible says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Father, should I pursue? Should I pursue? This door is open before me, but should I pursue? I have taught you, don't just enter doors carelessly because they are opened find out who opened it and find out where the door is leading to because even the prison you enter a prison through a door so that you don't see a door open and you say thank you jesus you enter and find out that all that are there are walls and you can't go back again prayer of inquiry father all this anointing you are putting upon my life is it for ministry not just that people come and say the way you are now I'm surprised you are not yet a general but here. You say, you mean it? Tell me more. <laughs> say, this, everything is on you. It's written, general but here. You now go and open a ministry and you will be disappointed. 
nothing respects you not men not spirits not demons and you'll be wondering oh god what am i doing after five years of struggle god will say you've been on your own i've been trying to tell you but every time you go to pray you don't allow me speak you speak to me and walk away as soon as you are done telling me what you want to say amen and you are out you are, as you are saying the amen you are closing the door the prayer of inquiry requires patience number two the prayer of inquiry requires silence when you pray sometimes you are still then you will know the bible says, be still and know be still and know there are times will be noisy to speak with energy but there are times let me tell you this is the reason why you should not be religious when you are walking with god you can go to the place of prayer and shout for one hour and suddenly a grace comes upon you and you don't have the energy to shout again don't fight it sit quietly something is about to come but because we have not been trained you just feel ah, I'm, is it sleep it's not necessarily sleep in that stillness his majesty comes a scripture comes a word comes an instruction comes check a youtube video an instruction comes check this scripture an instruction comes read this book sometimes the instruction can just come as the name of someone the name of a sermon even if it's a sermon you've listened to before you finish praying for hours struggling your rent everything and whilst you are seated there a testimony you had one day in koinonia just comes to your spirit is how god speaks this grace called favor and it becomes strong upon your heart god is saying listen there my voice for you is in that sermon although you were there when it was preached you did not hear my voice there now you listen to it you will hear something i will tell you that you did not hear that day there are many ways god speaks to us because our hearing are in levels are we together there are times that people become too noisy god cannot even tell them anything they finish talking to God and then they close the door. Their spirits are too noisy. Even their dream life cannot be an opportunity for God to minister to them. I have a teaching series, uh, you know, supernatural experiences, dreams, visions, trances. I will teach you. Because most of you, that thing you are calling a dream is an attack. Notice everything you have been seeing. When you stand up and do it, it gets you into trouble. Everything you see as an instruction in the dream, you act upon it, you either have a problem with police or have a problem with people it's an attack when god speaks he speaks peace when you get instructions in the realm of the spirit that continue to cause you trouble perpetually you can measure the voice of god by the peace and progress it brings which is what most people don't have don't just wake up from a dream and act everything you saw there no there are rules for both interpreting and acting on dreams. And the central rule is submitting everything to the word of God. Apostle, I had a dream. In the dream, I gave somebody my car. Hold on. Before you part with your car and now get into trouble. Don't assume it means God says you should give the car. We need to measure the spiritual life of the person who had the dream first. To verify what you had. With wise counsel, make war most people have gotten into trouble today let me tell you this i hope you are learning the prayer of inquiry there are people today who have believed a lie and they would they would die believing that lie because the devil manipulated dreams manipulated visions are we together and because they do not understand how to engage this prayer of inquiry the prayer of inquiry should i pursue should i overtake someone learn to ask god that question no you don't ask him for you can't ask god should i wear a white dress or a black dress god will say no don't go and listen to sit uh, uh, apostles teaching success systems and i teach you there how to use your mind are we together yeah you can't come and meet god and say should i wear a yellow shoe or a black shoe no i'm talking of destiny defining decisions you want to carry your wife and children out of nigeria and the only thing that becomes a green light is visa stamped on your, your passport. That's a risk. That's a risk. What if the destiny helpers of your children are close to you? You need to find out. Lord, should I pursue? When Satan wants to stop you from hearing the voice of God, he will surround you with good things. 
so that you will think that every good thing there is just God and you will act upon good things till they destroy you it's not only evil Satan uses to destroy people when he tests you with evil and he sees you are sensitive he will bring good the most important thing is that he's interested in your destruction either with evil or good hallelujah for someone you are at a very prophetic season of your life there are a number of areas in people's lives where you have to take time to dig matters of marriage children matters look at me matters of finances matters of job and career are we together matters of where you will stay what you will be doing the kind of call your assignment these major areas oh you must pray you must pray you must pray lie down and roll from left to right and say father speak speak oh speak speak am i an evangelist or i'm a pastor this one prophesied that i'm an evangelist next tomorrow they said i'm a pastor be careful this one said my wife is yellow this other one said my wife is black oh my wife is short my wife is tall very soon you will be like Solomon. You will marry one, 700 wives and, and uh, how many? Uh, 300 concubines. All in the name of prophecy. And they don't have to be fake. We see in part. So you go to God and cry your heart out. Open my eyes, oh God. Are we together? This job gives me 200,000. This one gives me 150,000. But uh, common sense said I should go here. And you miss a season let me tell you not every season is easily recoverable i can tell you that are we together don't be careless and think some seasons i'm now please don't don't be offended and, and i'm not here to forgive me for instance missing it out in things like marriage is not easy you, you will not be without scars you get what i'm saying now god tells you three children you say no i know i'm going to give birth to seven and the remaining four cause headache for you you almost want to kill them yourself because god told you his recommendation but he will never force you i know what i'm saying is funny but listen carefully to what i'm telling you take out time and pray take out time and pray koinonia take out time and pray sensitive things in your life parents which school should my child go to don't just say this school is a nice school they will go and learn something that becomes the reason why they become a pain to your heart are we together lord who should be the closest friend to me not i like this person person is just nice and before you know it you draw demons familiar spirits and all kinds of causes to your destiny the implication of friendship is that there is a sharing of spirits let me tell you associations have prophetic implications if you don't believe me save Johnny I will be here to correct you in the future again very destiny implicating consequences if Jonah is in your boat you will lose your goods even if you're a hard-working businessman you will almost lose your life till you throw him out but if jesus is in your boat don't worry even if the storm rocks your boat your confidence is that jesus is in your boat when lot left abraham he was not unrighteous but he still suffered is someone learning now you don't like what i'm saying like it oh like it seriously i'm teaching you this is a school of prayer Please go and write down some major areas in your life and flog it out. You need to fast fast. You will not die. Lord, help me. I've been seeing America in my vision. What does that mean? It does not mean go to America. It can mean your helper is in America. Or it can mean intercede for America. You can go to get a visa and for 10 years, you, your life refused to move forward because based on what you saw, truly, you had the dream. You saw America and you assumed, you gave it an interpretation from the flesh. Hmm. Koinonia is quiet. Pray. Pray. As a husband, hold the hand of your wife and pray. We are fasting today. Lord, what is the next step? even in ministry don't assume you've heard my story for three years i struggled with god to leave zaria and come to abuja 
I didn't want to. I mean, God had glorified himself greatly in Zaria. People were literally coming from all over the world. Can you imagine? In spite of the security situation, I mean, it was at a point in ministry, you would say you had seen the grace of God. What is Abuja again? And you go to pray. Three days before the inaugural service in Abuja here, I still went to God in prayer and fasting. Lord, if for any reason I'm human, if it is my carnal mind, I vow unto you that I will close that in inaugural service. And I meant it. I meant it.